A stunning view of Capitol Hill from high above. We're here in the seat of the U.S. government, Washington, D.C. Coming to you live on this Tuesday night, it's the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers. Doris Burke here at the table and on the sideline, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Guys, we all thought it would happen. Che is officially in the slam dunk contest at All-Star Weekend. We saw the social media campaign. Fans begged for him to be included. Che told me he's going to watch tape of all the previous competitors and blend their styles together. We're all excited to see what he comes up with, guys. Che doing the research. Great report, Dave. Well, if he's combing over the dunk contest tapes, I'm really curious to see what he pulls from. There's so many great moves in this event's history. And here's a look at the power rankings. Now that we've gotten into February, plenty of data to considering to go on. You look at Orlando, they're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And checking out Chicago, they've experimented with a lot of options this season, but at some point, you are what you are. And that's a pretty good basketball team moving forward. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Levine at the two with Porter at the three. Markin and Carter are up front, and it's B in at the point guard. And for the Wizards... Wall runs the point with Beal at the two. In at forward, it's Hachimura and Bertans. And it's Pirtle in at the center position. Well, a new era begins for the Washington Wizards, right? A change in the front office. The team has tried for years to rebuild in a number of different approaches. Perhaps a fresh outlook for fans under new guidance gives this team new hope. And there's the eight-second call as they can't get it across half court in time. Here's Wall. Not a lot of room. Now, here's Bertons. Pass to Beal. Six on the shot clock. Shoots it up. Misses off the right iron. And for the Wizards and their new front office door, it's a tough task ahead of them. I think so, Kevin, because first and foremost, they need to change the culture of the team, right? Too long, there had been a lack of accountability in D.C., and I think once they address that, the rest of the rebuild could come easier. So the Chicago Bulls able to put up the first points on the board. Here's Hachimura. No good there. Ice D from Porter. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. And there's the pass to B. Rebound, Washington. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. Here's Hachimura. And that one goes long. That's the third straight miss to start this game, and they're still looking for their first basket. Yes, that goes in. And this is the attack mindset you want to see coming into the game. Get it to the right guy, get a high percentage look, and that's the kind of game they want to play tonight. Now, here's Wall. An 11-point game for him in the win against Memphis. B, the pass to Carter. Here's B. Off target with his three. Wizards have gone 0-3 from the field to start the game. And it's Wall in the corner. The Wizards with another miss. Well, conversions have been a problem. 0 for 4. B covered by Wall. Launches a 3. Here's Markinen. It's stolen by Bertrand. And here we go. Washington fast break. Beal against Levine. Beal the pass to Wall. Good. It's Beal picking up the assist. 
when it comes to load management strategy, Doris, should coaches do it along the way as opposed to waiting until the last, say, quarter or third of the season? Well, Kev, I think you can look to the San Antonio Spurs, who I think were the first to really look hard at what we would now describe as load management. And I think the one thing is you're trying to just make sure guys are prepared for the most important point of the season. You've got to win enough to get in the playoffs and be positioned well, but your guys have also, also have to be healthy at the end of the year. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. Now here's Beal. He had 28 points in the win against Memphis. And I felt like his offense fed right into his deep. He caused a bunch of turnovers. There was just no let up in him all night. Yeah, it's hard to keep up with him. John Wall just a blur with that first step. Beep, beep. Here's B. Sinks the three-pointer. B's got five now. Well, Greg, you might know more about this than me, but the rumor is that Shea will be on the cover of NBA 2K21. I mean, what an honor. I saw some behind-the-scenes footage of Shea doing some mocap for 2K, and I just can't imagine wearing that wetsuit covered in ping-pong balls as is comfortable. Great chance for Che to increase his presence. Today. And the slam dunk by Wall. Count the players on one hand more Sorry. dangerous in transition than John Wall. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Well, we know this. John Wall is a great scorer. But let's not forget that over the course of the game, And with Wall, the assists are always high. But Doris, his turnovers are up there too, unfortunately. Yeah, no doubt, Kevin. And I think part of that is because John Wall plays the game at breakneck speed. You hope as the years go on, he becomes more efficient in terms of his decision making. And we've seen more face-up play at the power forward position these days, Doris. That works in favor of guys like Thaddeus Young. Well, he is someone, Kevin, who has always thrived on quickness. His ability to drive and finish at the rim. He has developed his outside shot. This young man has paid a price to try to be more effective. So for Chicago right now, inside, it's Young and Markinen. Levine at the two with Porter at the three. And it's B in at the points. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, he in that last game against the 76ers played some superb ball. He scored 36 points, and his assertiveness drew a lot of attention from the defense. He drew a good amount of fouls. He really played a complete game out there. He just seemed to be in rhythm and always in the right place at the right time. Kevin? Thanks, David. Yeah, it was a special night for him. The team really fed off his energy. Yeah, the catalyst for that win, it, it was an effort that I'm sure he's hoping to replicate tonight. Well, there's no doubt, Greg. He certainly looked like he was enjoying himself in that last game. He had his offense flowing. The three from Bertans. And again, Washington, no good. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more. Wow, oh, hammering oh. it in! Such a big-time athlete. Levine makes the hardest moves look easy. So for the Wizards, their last game a win against the Grizzlies. And they really got after it from a defensive standpoint throughout that entire game. The turnovers they forced really tell the story. There, there has to be a willingness to take chances, jumping for steals, getting out in passing lanes, and all of that worked in their favor. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And Beal kicks to Wall. Down to five on the shot clock. To halt the run, and that's good for two. Wall's got eight. This is an important aspect of John Wall's overall skill set. That ability to be effective in the mid-range, important. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one on Jakob Pertl. For Chicago, they have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Wall passes to Miles. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Chicago leading to the paint. Beal with the steal. 
Oh, and a fast break for the Wizards. And Miles kicks the wall. Stolen by Markinen. B the pass to Levine. From the arc. No good from B. Last game for Chicago it was a loss to the 76ers in Philadelphia. That final score really caught a lot of people off guard. I think we would have to quantify that one as an upset. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt. They came in as a favorite, seemed to lose their confidence down the stretch, started to play tight, and let that one slip away. In the corner, it's Levine. Here's B. And Markinen throws it down. And remember, at seven feet tall, Markinen is tough to keep off the board, solid at tracking down misses on that offensive glass. Here's Wall, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And glad to see John Wall back out there after fighting back from his Achilles injury he suffered in early 2019. And obviously, Kevin, an Achilles injury is very worrisome for any athlete, but particularly one like John Wall, whose speed is a major part of his game. But boy, he looks good out there, and you hope he avoids any more injuries the rest of his career. Hachimura, he's checked in for C.J. Miles. Doris, great scoring is often reliant upon great foot. And, and we are coaches, don't we talk about that all the time? We really do, Kev. You, you look at a guy like Kyrie Irving, who at the point guard position is one of the great scorers. He's a clutch shooter. He doesn't go to the free throw line a lot, and it's because he's so elusive. Can finish left and right, puts a lot of English on his shots. DeMar DeRozan gets separation with incredible footwork and maybe the best in the league right now in terms of his footwork, that, that tap-dancing James Harden, which is yes. just nearly impossible to check. I love those names, and you're so right. And it's fun to watch. What a skill. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. What a terrific... The Wizards have shot 80% from the line tonight, going four of five so far. And that one falls for Hachimura. And although he started playing the game later in life, Hachimura has picked it up well. An exciting young player to watch. And so it's Washington with a six-point lead. Bradley is strong. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. You'll be all right. You just got to let the game come to you. You're no, no, forcing it as a coach. No, no, right, just take your time. Take a few deep breaths. You got this. Yeah. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. An exceptional performance from John Wall. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. One of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. In and forward, it's Hachimura and Berton. All runs the point with Beal at the two. And it's Pirtle in at the five. That's the group on the floor right now for Washington. The Bulls have gone a perfect seven of seven from the line tonight. Good on both. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line. And boy, has his stroke been on the money. And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for Washington. Four-point game. Following this game, they hit the road. They'll take on the Knicks in New York. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And out of Japan, a real interesting prospect. Hachimura, especially now that he can stretch the four. Yeah, he, he found the three ball in his last year of college. Hit over 40%. You combine that with the size, the motor, he is really versatile, and I feel like he's putting it all together. Pass to B. Up top, Markinen. Outside, Porter. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. 
no good from B. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. Aggressive move coming out of the half, penetrating into the heart of the defense. And I've got to believe that was something they talked about during the break. Get him some good looks into the paint, get into the heart of the defense. Beautiful. And how about we check out the group of rookies with the best percentages from the charity strike this season? Well, you look at B, the best in the NBA. You put him on the line, and it's nearly automatic. Yeah, he doesn't miss that many, does he? I mean, great skill level to go with his obvious talent. He's taking full advantage every time he draws a whistle. Well, he is now in the defining years of his career. John Wall is a masterful competitor who is capable of dominating. Carter issued to Porter. Kicks it to Levine. Passes it to B. Shot clock at six. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. Bulls have been exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. And no good on the technicals, so unable to pick that one up. No doubt about the potential that Markinen has. He just needs to keep improving, especially on the defensive end. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. On the wing, Levine. He's covered by Beal. Shot is good, and the Wizards' lead is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Levine. You know, he's been giving them points, but they still can't seem to get over the hump tonight. Wall finds Berton. Here's Hachimura. Nine points in the game so far. Berton's shot is good. Bulls trail by nine. And coach Jim Boyle in agreeing to a multi-year extension with the Bulls this summer, Greg. And taking that interim tag off his title as head coach. Boyle, with over 30 years of coaching experience, afforded the opportunity to continue developing this young court. Wall, no luck. Boy, he'll usually knock it down if he's left that wide open. Just comes up empty. To the middle. Here's Levine. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Levine's got 12 in the game. I tell you, feeling the contact and the concentration to finish through it. Nice by Levine. And Wall kicks to Beal. Right around three minutes into the second half. And the foul on Wendell Carter. That'll be his second foul of the game. And Washington making a change here. Miles has checked in. Marie's checked in for Chicago. On defense, the Bulls. Has to Beal. Shot clock at five. Washington needs to get a shot off here. And the shot goes in. Hachimura's got the lead up to nine now for Washington. And showing some toughness on that take. Hachimura, these kinds of buckets can energize a team. Wall with the steal. And Wall slams it home. This seems to be the new breed of point guards who can play above the rim. Wall finishing with style. B covered by Wall. No good from B. I'll tell you, it feels all night like this guy's been forcing shots, rushing shots. He's really struggling on the offensive end. And the pass to Beal. Wall looking for an opening. Pass to Hachimura. Hurdle trying to get open. Another shot. The kick out to Wall. Carter pulls it in. Carter's got seven rebounds in the game. And he drops it in from the low post. Carter's got his second bucket of the night. And that's his strong suit, the ability to find his way through the D and finish at the rim. 
Wall, that's a two-pointer. They get it again. It's good on the putback. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out-rebounded. Chicago calls timeout. Of course, you can't help but notice the teams are shooting earlier in the shot clock. One theory being the faster you shoot, the more possessions you get. Well, the numbers would, would speak to that. No, no doubt. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Well, he hasn't proven to be much of a floor spacer for them. He had the one three, but that was back in the first half. So for Chicago right now, Porter and Markinen, the duo at forward. White is out there with B, and it's Carter in at center. Down low, all with the steal. Here's Hachimura. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. It's going to go on Otto Porter Jr. I'll tell you, if you leave a guy open, John Wall is going to put it on time and on target. Sometimes the defense is not going to look good as a result. And Washington making a change here. Myrtle's checked in. B, covered by Wall. Trying to break that ice cold streak. No good from B. You know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. And the foul on Wendell Carter. And that'll be his third foul so far. Bertle, the pass to Miles. Six to shoot. This guy just can't buy a bucket, and yet they have the advantage. Chicago now working with the new shot clock. No good from B. And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. What a terrific pass. Work the ball inside and create a good look for your teammate. Rebound by the Wizards. Hachimura's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Wall passes to Purdy. Here's Beal. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Big time tough play by Beal right there. Unfazed by the foul. Davis Bertans checks in for C.J. Miles. When he first came into the NBA, many thought Bradley Beal would be a mostly catch-and-shoot shooting guard. But this guy has proven he can definitely shoot, but there's so much more to his game. He can create for others. He can get himself off on the bounce. He is a terrific all-around guy now. Pretty early to be over the limit. That foul situation is something we want to keep an eye on. And with Beal doors, he's been more aggressive at attacking the rim. And Kevin, it's worked out for him because he's gotten to the line more, and that allows you to become a consistent scoring presence. Boy, the dynamic nature of Beal's offensive game has really elevated. Here's Wall, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Oh, this guy's so explosive, and John Wall knows how to draw contact when he gets to the rack. Well, it's a new front office in Washington, and Greg, they've got their work cut out for him. John Wall's huge Supermax contract as he deals with the Achilles injury. Tough questions to be answered about the direction they're going to take, talent-wise. Beans checked in for the Bulls. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Over to the wing, trying to get open as Carter hands it from downtown. B's got it back down to within single digits for Chicago. Now, Zach Levine is a solid passer. This guy entered the league as a point guard, puts it on the money there. All passes to Hachimura. The 11-footer, and that one hits back iron. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. And the layup's good off the glass. Hachimura's got 15 points in just the second half. 
boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot, hot. Outside Porter. Right side Markinen to the right side. Here's B. There's three pointers off the mark. Washington leading now by 11. Inside Wall. Good. It's Beal picking up the assist. Beal's got four assists in the game. I'll tell you, he is absolutely playing some basketball right now. John Wall, nothing the defense has is impeding his progress. Offensive rebound. Here's Markinen. Lays it up and banks it in. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. And to me, Greg, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. Doris, you've accomplished so much in your award-winning career. What was your first experience in broadcast? Kevin, my first experience was I left coaching, and they put Providence College women's basketball on radio. That was the first ever game I got to call. It was so cool. Uh, tell me yours. What was the very first? Did you study this? How did you get into broadcasting? I did. A high school at a radio station, and the first basketball broadcast was underneath the bleachers, looking through popcorn boxes and legs of the people who were standing in the bleachers so that I could see the court from the baseline. Amazing. Because that's where the that's where the telephone cables were to plug in our equipment. When wow. I was uh, 16 years old. Incredible. I remember very well. Incredible. Very well. <laughs> no good from B. And you know what? If you're the defense, you got him right where you want him. Let him keep shooting those threes because he's been brutal in this half. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the Wizards. And the big difference here was accuracy from three-point range. And once they started sinking shots, it really stretched out the D and created other opportunities. And anytime they got space, they seemed to just knock down another triple. And so looking at their number, this will be win number 22 on the year. And they will walk out of here feeling really good about themselves today, guys. A big win over a conference foe they'd split their previous two games with. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Wall. What you love about his performance is that he is simply taking what the defense allows and then making the most of his opportunities. And the Wizards are going with a whole new group out there now. The Bulls also changing it up. Marjanovic checked in for Wendell Carter. Felicio comes in for Markinen, And Murray subbed in for Otto Porter Jr. Wizards passing it around. From deep. And out of bounds is Chicago gains possession. In the corner, Murray with it. Here's B. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Here's Galloway. Stolen away. Here's B. And it's off from three-point range. And so it's Washington easily grabbing this one. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Uh, I think they... And that about wraps it up. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Congrats on making the Rising Stars game, Che. Oh, thanks, Patty. What are you looking to get out of this experience? I'm going to go out there and put on a show for the fans. That's what All-Star Weekend is all about, right? I'm going to just have some fun, catch a couple of bodies, you hear me? <laughs> Anything else? Penny? No? All right, cool. Later. <laughs> Thanks. All right, until next time. <laughs>